Hey guys, today I want to talk a bit about worm bins. So the idea with the worm bin is you fill it up with nice soil and compost and scraps and all of your uh, fruit peels and banana peels and cardboard box, newspaper, any biodegradable material, eggshells, cantaloupes, avocados, anything like that. You load it in with the dirt and the compost, fill it up with worms, and the worms break that stuff all the way down to the nutrient level. And with this particular design, it gives you a spout on the lower level that you can use to fill up the byproduct which we call worm tea. Now this worm tea is turbocharged with nutrients and if you use them for your developing plants such as this soursop plant or these peppers, um, they get down and dirty man, they get down to the root level and they activate right on time, in real time. So that's what worm tea is all about. You want to keep it oxygenated, keep a bubbler in there to keep that stuff aerobic. You don't want it to go anaerobic because then your fertilizer will go stale. We have two in here today, and this one, as you can see, is where we keep uh, some of the uh, sprouted trees like avocados, and also some of the uh, grow cubes to, to germinate our new plants. Um, but other than that, the worms live in there, and they kick up dirt. Here, I'll uh, let's see if we can open this one. I'll give you a little example of what they do. All right, so underneath this cantaloupe, I expect to see a ton of worms just going to town. There they go. It's nice and warm in, in the summertime, so they try to stay deep where the water's cool, but they're in there and they go to work. They break that soil down, that food down to the nutrient level and their byproduct, which is their urine and uh, uh, feces we call worm tea. And that's what powers our plants. That's what's under the ground. The earthworm is the number one um, garbage disposal and recycler on the planet and without him or her or it we have no plants no trees no fruit no leaves so that's worm tea in a nutshell we're going to fill up a couple of cups of that and hand water some of our developing plants usually we want to keep this thing in a cool environment but this one's in a greenhouse in the middle of july i keep it watered to keep the worms cool and i'll keep them giving us a nice batch of their worm tea. So again we use that, bring it over here, pour that right on top of these tomatoes and you get a turbocharged dose of some uh, steroids if you will. That's worm tea. Talk to you soon. Peace.